In this lecture, we're going to discuss the concept of the electromotive force and terminal voltage. So let's begin by discussing how an electron flows within a closed circuit. So if we want to generate an electron flow within a conducting wire, we need an electromotive force. We need a source of electromotive force and one common source is a battery. So we define electromotive force or simply EMF as the electric potential difference that exists across a battery when no electrons flow within that circuit. For example, if we take the following open circuit and we place a battery, we're going to have a certain EMF. The battery will have a certain EMF and that EMF given by this symbol is equal to the difference between the higher potential and the lower potential. So V B minus V A, where V B is the higher potential electrode and V A is the lower potential electrode. Now, a battery is not a constant source of electric uh, current, and that's because electric current depends on the resistance of our conducting wire. However, a battery is a constant source of electromotive force. It's a constant source of voltage. Now, if we actually measure the electromotive force of any real battery when electrons are allowed to flow, we'll see that the voltage actually drops below the electromotive force. And that's because any real battery has internal resistance to electron flow. So, just like a conducting wire contains resistance to electron flow, batteries also contain their own resistance. For example, the electrodes in the battery are essentially metal conductors, which means electrons will feel resistance as a result of the electric attractive forces that exist between the atoms of our conductor of the electrode and the electrons that are flowing through those electrodes. So we define this voltage which is slightly less than the electromotive force as the terminal voltage. So the terminal voltage is the measured voltage across a battery that exists when electric current does in fact flow through our closed circuit. So we essentially give this resistance found inside the battery a special name which is known as the internal resistance of the battery given by a lowercase r. Now on a diagram we essentially draw our internal resistance by the following symbol. So we draw our resistance right next to our positive uh, terminal of the battery and we give it a lowercase r to symbolize internal resistance. So to calculate the terminal voltage when electrons do flow we use the following equation. So, the terminal voltage is equal to the EMF minus I multiplied by lowercase r, where I is simply our electric current. So, let's look at the following example in which we're going to apply this equation and calculate what the electric current is. So, an electric circuit contains a resistor of 50 ohms. A 24 volt battery is connected to this closed electric circuit. If the internal resistance of the battery is 1 ohm, calculate the electric current inside our closed circuit. So we essentially want to use Ohm's law as well as this equation. So by Ohm's law, we know the voltage is equal to the product of our electric current and the resistance. So Ohm's law tells us that VBA is equal to I multiplied by R. And this equation tells us that VBA is equal to our electromotive force minus I multiplied by R. So I multiplied by R is equal to the EMF minus I multiplied by lowercase r where lowercase r is the internal resistance of the battery and uppercase r is the resistance of our wire. So, 
we have this equation is equal to this. So let's bring all the i's to one side. So i uppercase r plus i lowercase r is equal to the electromotive force. So now we take our constant i out and we bring the r plus lowercase r to the left side of our equation and we get this result. So we see the electric current within our circuit is equal to 24 volts, our EMF divided by 50 ohms plus 1 ohm. That gives us 24 divided by 51, which is about 0.47 amps is our current within our electric circuit.